And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, on this lovely Friday morning. So, we got our first day of the 12 days of giving, day one. So if you logged in, well not every single day, but if you log in today, you get a day one 12 days of giving pack, which is kind of interesting. And we are going to rip some new packs when they drop, so this is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, looks like we got John Morant, some decent packs. Amon Shumpert is up on the wheel, too. So at least they're giving us a decent amount of chances. Granted, they're all luck-based to get some of these cards, and I got five tokens, so that's cool. Whatever. We're going to open this 12 Days of Giving pack, and then when the packs drop, we're going to open some of those. Um, the packs in question are... I forgot what they're actually called. What are in here? A ruby. Deep Hooks Gold, and... Uh, Ruby LeBron, is he still worth like 6, 7k? Because that would be cool, to be honest with you. Um, not sure. I guess we'll check it out. Ooh. If you're new to the channel, man, subscribe. But just hit 1,000 subscribers, that'd be sick. If you're not, or if you are, man, like, drop a comment down below what you think of the new packs that came out today. I'm kind of indifferent on them. I don't really know how to feel. Um, they're the new double take packs. So, once they actually drop on the market, I'll go over at least some of the players, but... Just to kind of talk about them, we got like a pink diamond Dwight, pink diamond Derrick Rose, diamond Carl Malone, uh, diamond Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, Amethyst Sean Kemp, Patrick Ewing, and Hito Turkoglu, Ruby, Andrew Bogut, Dominique, and Gary Payton, and then a Sapphire, T-Mac, and AI. And they're all like the old super dusty versions of themselves uh, when they played for teams you probably didn't even realize they played for at the end of their career, so kind of an interesting pack, but all the stats are kind of like what they would be if they were in their prime so at least for some of them obviously not Trace McGrady and Allen Iverson who they had to do dirty for seemingly no reason um so once they actually go up I'll show you the actual cards that are in there I mean that's what I said is in there is correct but you have to kind of see it to really get the full grasp of like what the card art is because it's I don't know man it doesn't make a whole lot of sense I feel like they should have focused around like guys who just had like a real career resurgence uh, not like guys who just kind of like ended up on a team, you know, if that makes sense. Um, but I mean, whatever. It is what it is. 2K is going to do what they're going to do. So we got about 30 seconds to kill here. Are they going to update the token market, I wonder? I doubt it. Maybe later on. Maybe they do it this weekend or something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what, what, what badge did I get? Deep hooks? Are you worth anything? No. You're worth a thousand MT. Might as well keep it. Maybe we get a good center. Not this pack, obviously. I mean, Dwight should be okay. Just looking at his stats, he can't shoot, but everything else is looking good, so. We'll see. You, got, you guys ever gonna let me open packs? Because it's like definitely 10 a.m., so. You could you could drop them at any time. That'd be cool. I'm tired of looking at Dirk's fucking face, so. Here we go. Yeah. And of course, like I was saying earlier, um, not in this video, but on Twitter, it is a deluxe pack. So as you can see, we got like the old crusty versions of like all your favorite players. Like look at fat ass Pat Ewing, Andrew Bogut with no hair. I uh, don't even remember him being on the Cavs, but whatever. Uh, this is the most disrespectful thing. I cannot believe they did my man AI and Tracy McGrady like this and gave them sapphire cards. Ugh, so disrespectful. You know, Sean Kemp's looking super dusty over there. Uh, Dwight Howard and Derrick Rose look like the only two that can actually still play basketball. The rest of them are not looking like they should be here. They, look, they should be on the first court at the YMCA, not letting young kids play. But Derrick Rose should be really good. Uh, Dwight Howard should be really good, but he's going to be cheap because he can't shoot threes. So We could go guaranteed or non-guaranteed. I prefer to go gar non-guaranteed in this scenario just because... I feel like I have better luck. There's no real way to say one way or the other if I do or don't. So, uh, first pack we got AI. All right. I mean, whatever, dude. They're not AI. Any of the sapphires and rubies are not gonna be worth anything when you have guaranteed packs. There's, I mean, the cards in general end up being a lot cheaper, especially like the amethyst and below cards, even the diamonds, because there's gonna be one diamond that's easier to pull than the rest of them. What do we got? Another AI. All right, so we got Tracy McGrady, so we're working our way up. The lock-in is George Gervin, who, to be honest, looks incredible. Um, he should be really, really good. One of the better two guards in this game, in my opinion, um, just from looking at all of his signatures and his badges and stuff like that. That being said, is he worth locking the set in? Ooh, there we go. Hard to tell. I'll talk about that later. 
All right. Fuck. Amethyst. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I don't even remember who the Amethysts are. Hito Turkaloo. I would like Hito Turkaloo. Uh, might be at number six. I don't know. Center. Yeah, no. It is. It's either Sean Kemp or... Oh, it's Ewing. Okay. <clears throat> so it's Patrick Ewing, who, like, literally looks like he can't play basketball in his photo. Like, legitimately. Um, whatever. Quick sell those. I'm not really too worried about it. I mean, I'm doing a pack opening for a video. Whatever I pull, I pull. So... We're just going to keep ripping packs probably down to like 250 or something. I have a lot of like investments going on, so I'm not really too worried about it. What do we got? Andrew Bogut. Like I said, I don't even remember him being on the Cavs. Um, I remember all the other guys like in this set and like when they were on these teams. Like I vaguely remember these, but I definitely don't remember Bogut being on the Cavaliers, which is hilarious. I hate Andrew Bogut, so that's totally fine. Uh, I'll throw it on Cowens, man. I've been trying to get Embry, dude, and I've played like... Got like 60, 70 wins and haven't had the vault drop Embry yet. The only vault player I've gotten this year is Jeff Malone. I got him like four times. There we go. We're having good luck. So far. You know? Of course. <laughs> of course it's an amethyst. You guys just can't hook me up once. Maybe I'll switch over to guaranteed packs at some point. Just to try it out. Maybe I have better luck there. What, are we, what is this? Oh, uh, just a regular, regular Giannis. Okay. That's cool. All right, whatever. I mean, he's still going for five or six k. I do think that I don't think a lot of the uh, current players will go down too much in value today because I think a lot of people will be opening guaranteed packs, so they won't be getting a lot of those um, current players. I mean, there's going to be some people like me that are opening regular packs, but definitely not as much as normal. So <clears throat> some of those current guys won't go down in uh, value as much. Uh, looks like nothing here. I got a ruby, and it's Clay Thompson. This game is punishing me at this point. I still have like 10 Clay Thompsons in my uh, auctions. At some point, it's going to pay off. I know it. It's just not worth getting rid of them for like 7,000 MT at this stage in the game. Like, I'm just going to hold off. Worst case scenario, I can use them for an exchange next season or something. Like, I don't know, man. I'm not selling them, though. They're just not worth it. Uh, another. All right, I got Gary Payton. So I'm at least getting some guys from the set. Granted, these guys I could legitimately be picking up for like... 2000 MT later today, but at the same time, it is what it is. Um, I'll end up selling them later on, too. Like, I'm not. Oh, here we go. I'm having decent luck today. Things are looking up. <sighs> of course. <laughs> of course, it's another Amethyst, dude. Uh, who's it going to be this time? Eastern Conference 97. Okay, I don't know who this is. It's just a regular Kevin Durant. Okay. Cool. I mean, I'm getting a lot of Amethyst, so I'm at least getting some MT back from the MT that I'm spending, but, like, you know, it'd be cool if you guys could give me, like, I don't know, anyone else. Now, good news is if you were looking to lock in that uh, the very first set, the season tip-off East one, if you were looking to lock that in, we're going guaranteed now. Uh, Hakeem should be down in value, because this Hakeem is better, so... Should help out. Uh, we got another Tracy McGrady, who, if I sell him quick enough, I can still get 2,000 or so MT, and I just realized I got another Clay Thompson. That's that's sick. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> uh, the game is just punishing me at this point. I don't know. Maybe I have had too good of luck this year that they have to give me all these Clay Thompsons just to spite me. Uh, or maybe this is, like, galactic punishment for telling people that another Amethyst really to buy all those Clay Thompsons in season one, and this is the punishment I'm getting. So we got number six, I think it's just another Patrick Ewing. It is, it's another Patrick Ewing, that's great. All right, if I go sell him quick enough, I'll still be able to get over 5K before he completely tanks in value, so I can make a little bit back. <clears throat> it just, I don't like doing the guaranteed packs just because it's like, I'm spending 17,000 MT, and if like, I don't hit a diamond or above, like, I really, won't make any of my MT back. Even hitting the diamond player, like, there's going to be one that's significantly easier to get. So it's going to be hit or miss if I even get my MT back for that. Um, there's like a David West type guy from the Possessed Packs, or like, uh, I don't know, another Amethyst. Fantastic. I think Oscar Robertson was the cheap one from Finals. All right, what is this one? Let's see if this is Pat again. It's Patrick Ewing again, I think. Yep. Okay, so Patrick Ewing seems to be the easiest to pull Amethyst, uh, which means he's going to be ridiculously cheap. 
I don't necessarily think he'll be that good. Um, looking at his stats, though, he's not terrible by any means at all. Um, he's actually pretty okay. Like, if you're in need, really, truly in need of a center, um, he's not bad. He plays really good defense. He can finish at the rim really well. Um, he can't really shoot too well um, at all, and you can't give him any shooting badges, but he plays good defense and finishes at the rim. So, uh, okay, here we go again. I mean, I've been hitting on these packs. It's just not the way I want to. Spurs jersey, contract card. Ah, oh, you... You. Oh, 2K. You're really, really doing me dirty today. I don't really understand what the issue is here. Oh, at least I got Hito Turkoglu. Okay, that's fine. Um, he'll still be a little expensive because Hito Turkoglu is kind of like a known 2K guy. Um, Hito's typically got a good jump shot. He does have a LaMarcus Aldridge base, so he actually should be a pretty good shooter. Uh, I'll probably run a gameplay video with him. To be honest, if you guys are interested in that, comment down below. I'll probably do a gameplay on Hito. Tell you if he's worth picking up. He's going to be a little more expensive than the rest of the Amethyst. In my, I, at least I think so. Um, yeah, he'll be more expensive than Kemp and uh, Patrick Ewing for sure. So, are we going to get lucky this time? I can't tell. I don't think so. Oh, we did get lucky. All right. Pistons jersey. Three-game contract. Neon green ball. And, ooh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. You just had to play with me a little bit. If you're not Derrick Rose, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very upset. Eastern Conference, 96, okay. Number eight, I don't know. Center. God fuck. Alright. Ah, 2K. So it's Dwight Howard. So I guess I'll be doing a Dwight Howard gameplay. Which is gonna involve me just um attacking the rim every five seconds playing defense because that's about all I can do with Dwight Howard though he should be good at it he does have an 88 speed as a center which is going to be interesting to check out to be honest with you I'm not really like stoked about pulling Dwight Howard but I'm not upset um, it's not terrible it's not a terrible pull I should probably stop pulling packs because I took all my luck out but I'm gonna keep going um, I got the pink diamonds usually when I pull a pink diamond I usually like try to chill and like not pull any packs for a little bit but this is a pack opening video. Oh, I got Bronze Intimidator. Sick. Okay. I'm down with that. Uh, DJ Augustine. Cool. Bronze Intimidator goes for about 15k, so basically just made all my MT back for this pack, so that's pretty solid. Um, once I sell a DJ Augustine and the Intimidator badge, that's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, I paid 17k for Allen Iverson just now. That's not fun. I don't like that. That's never something that I like to see. But it is what it is. So we do have limited um, today, which is you have to use guys who have played for five different NBA teams. Uh, basically, you're just going to have to use a bunch of these guys, realistically. So I'm kind of interested to see what people's limited teams are going to look like. That's like a really oddly specific um, request for limited. And to be honest, I couldn't tell you any of the guys that I have that have played for five different NBA teams. Like... Especially some of my bigger guys. I think Grant Hill might have. So I'll have to look at like who's done what. Who a 76ers ornament ball. Another Gary Payton. I don't even know if Gary Payton did. I don't think he did actually. He might have. He was kind of bouncing around for a little bit. But it is what it is. So anyways guys that is the video. Thanks for watching my pack opening. It's kind of trash. Maybe I'll open one more. Uh, probably not though. Derrick Rose should be really good. Looking at his stats, he's probably going to be one of the premier point guards in this game, period. He's going to be like John Wall that can shoot threes. He's got like 85 three and some decent shooting badges, and you can equip more. Um, Hito is going to be really good amethyst. Um, he's going to be kind of expensive just because. Dominique actually should be a pretty decent ruby. Um, as far as ruby go, he'll be decent. AI and T-Mac will be solid sapphires. I mean, nothing you're going to use in your lineup, but... Stuff you could definitely get away with using lower overall chasing, especially AI. Um, he'll be pretty decent. So, anyways, check the description for all my stuff. If you want to support me on Patreon, I did just get ads put into my videos. So if you want to add free content, it's over there. Um, check out the podcast, etc. Follow me on Twitter. I'll be back with new content all day today and every single day, really. So, thanks for supporting me, man. I appreciate you guys.